Saying, I don't think it's an exaggeration. I think it's an understatement. Uh, you've heard me say here, I think we are facing the worst financial crunch and crisis since the Great Depression. You have the entire banking system now that is virtually frozen. And there are not just a subprime mortgage thing. There are other things called credit default swaps where they're going to lose as much money, $250 billion. On. The banks are frozen. They're not making loans because they have such huge debts that they have to take onto their balance sheets. And nobody knows how to deal with that because you had a dramatic, you have two bubbles that have burst at the same time. The housing bubble, which has collapsed in this country, the first time since the Great Depression that housing values have gone down for a year since the Depression, and it's going to go down even more next year. The credit crunch, the, you've just exploded the whole credit system in this country. We were way over leveraged. The banking system was over leveraged. People didn't even know about it. The bankers didn't know about it. They didn't assess the risk. Now that risk is piling in and everybody's going to pay the price. Uh, it's going to stimulate nothing other, I mean, it's going to destimulate the economy. Nobody has money to lend. They're saving all their money to pay off their debts. They're borrowing money or looking at uh, the, the rest of the world to, to uh, enhance their capital and it's still not going to solve their problem. Okay, this worthy tried to pull it together. Why is the economy tanking? We're fighting a trillion dollar war and we shouldn't be doing it. Those resources should be spent back here at home. There is an inflationary factor, but if you don't understand how inflation comes, we can't solve this problem. It comes from deficit financing with this warmongering foreign policy we have. We run up the deficits, we tax, we borrow, we borrow from the Chinese, we can't borrow enough, then what do we do? We print the money, and then you wonder where the inflation comes? If the value of the dollar goes down and prices go up, where the government gets involved in certain things, like housing or medical care or education, how prices are skyrocketing. So you have to deal with the monetary issue to solve the problem of the medical issue. Is Ron Paul right? You have to deal with the monetary policy before you deal with anything else to account for deficit spending. You know, uh, I'm, I'm sorry. Mitt Romney starts your program and he says he's going to do something about the economy. When he was governor of Massachusetts, he had a one half of one percent increase in employment in the four years he was governor, while the country's uh, employment went up by five and a half percent. He left the state with the highest unemployment rate that they have any state in the union. So his words are just phony words. This guy doesn't even know what he's talking well, about. Uh, Romney does know what he's talking what, about, and he's misleading. Well, 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 I, I think he pulled it together. I, I, he has pulled nothing together. He's uh -huh. just pulled words together. Yeah. I'm not. You saying, I'm, not saying, war, it, I'm not yeah. saying the Iraq war it was, was an economic boon. All I'm saying to you, well, it does not deal with the problems well, that this country is facing. Well, Despite fair, the trillion dollar cost of the Iraq war? We had five years uh, of this war and the country was booming. Well, the reason fair, why first, the country first, is going first of down all, is because of the credit system, fair, not because first of... First of all, all, Romney went to Michigan and pandered. He promised them $20 billion if he's, right. if, if he's president mm -hmm. to revive the mm -hmm. auto industry. So I'm not going to heap praise on him. Ron Paul is the closest thing we have to a Ross Perot. He is out there hammering away on this issue. I think he has a point to make. And the American people, if they really do link a wasteful war in Iraq with problems at home, then the politicians will really be up against the war. What do you think of what Eleanor said? Well, the UN this week came out with a report projecting that in Iraq, the Iraqi economy this year and next year will grow at the rate of 7 to 8 percent. The U.S. economy right now is growing at the rate of 1.5 percent. So all of these little stimulus packages, and Hillary Clinton just recently said she's going to tack on a $40 billion uh, rebate no, no along the lines of what President Bush is, is suggesting, too. Look, what none of these do? problems address the long-term issues in this economy mm. about job cre creation and growth. I want to see a cut. Uh, I want to see the Bush tax cuts made permanent. I well, want to see a rollback of the tax rate. I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I want to board, assign, And uh, I want to I want, I want, I want the most important thing, John, is cutting federal Look, spending. All these I guys want a bill in here. I want a couple of doing it. I want a right. I want a villain. Why should it be this way? I haven't heard it yet. John, look, let me talk this. Look, the United States is completely tapped out. We borrow from Europe to defend Europe. We borrow from the Arabs to fight a war to bring democracy to Iraq. We borrow from the Chinese and the Japanese to defend their oil lifelines. The United States saves nothing. We are now, we've got $5 trillion abroad. It is coming so, back to buy up uh, city oh, banks. So this goes back, to, city George, this no. goes back to Bush and it goes back to the White House. Well, it goes right? back to 1992, John. There's $5 trillion abroad. They're moving it into sovereign wealth funds. They are snapping up Citibank, Morgan Stanley, 
Illinois, uh, FreeCom, uh, all these other things. It's traceable to overspending by the government. It is traceable to the government. And misspending by the government. It is traceable to the trade I agree the government is tapped out, but this is not the time for the ideological hobby horses. We're not going to solve the problem of sovereign wealth, and we're not going to make the Bush tax cuts permanent. They are not gonna, this, this government is going to perform right. and, to, and do it's, some um, all right. all right. immediate. I want to nail it down. We got to get quick right. and immediate fixes that are right. needed for average people. We got to get out. Multiple choice on the Iraq war. Is the cost of the Iraq war a a major drag on the economy, a medium drag, a minor drag, or no drag? Pap, you can. It is a minor drag, John. There's five trillion dollars in American dollars out there right. that foreign countries have, and they're coming back to buy America. We Hello. wouldn't be reliant on those foreign countries to the extent that we are if we weren't funding a trillion or two trillion dollar war. Major drag. Minor drag in the whole context of this dynamic American economy that's having some serious problems. You know, we've had four booming years while the war in Iraq has been going on. It's no drag at all. The problems we're having now have nothing to do with the war in Iraq. A major drag. We'd have that trillion dollars <laughs> to spend here at home if we didn't have Iraq.